So I had a four-year career at Dartmouth where you were uh, all I believe for better of the year the last two years running. Talk a little bit about your experience at Dartmouth. Uh, yeah, it was great. Um, we had obviously a very good team, had a lot of success, um, great coaching staff, and uh, it's a great place to be, a really special place, so can't complain with my four years there, it's a blast. So being in the Ivy League, you obviously have a higher academic standard than most players are subject to. Do you mind talking about the balance of academics and sport at that level? Yeah, it's tough. Um, I mean, uh, a lot of times you're dealing with tests the day after a game, you're dealing with papers and uh, worrying about how you're going to manage your school and playing well. Uh, but the biggest thing for, for our guys is we stay on top of our work. We don't, we don't get too far behind, and uh, that makes it pretty, pretty easy. It makes it bad. You spent the past two summers at the Seacoast United fans into the media. Do you mind touching on your time with that team a little bit? Yeah, uh, so I was there last summer. Uh, we had a very, very good team, coached by Ali Bain. Um, it was a special group. Uh, we had a lot of success. Uh, made a pretty, pretty decent run with the playoffs, but uh, it's a really high level, I think, at times. Um, we were playing in games that was even higher than Division One. Uh, a lot of really good players from across the country that uh, made me a lot better, so it was a great experience for me. And how do you feel the PDL contributes to the development of collegiate players? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, the summer, uh, you, you got to get ready, you got to get fit, you got to get touches, you got to get game fitness. So uh, for me, it was huge. I was being able to play in some games during the summer, uh, make sure I'm sharp, ready to go, uh, come, come to the beginning of the season. Uh, it, was, it was really big for me.